So far, no one's been able to create a hypersonic drone that can, that can duplicate the feats that we see on videotape. Do you see any evidence to justify a conclusion that these might be foreign adversaries? Well, when you look at the Pentagon's uh, statement on these objects, it lists the various possibilities, weather anomalies and so on and so forth. And at the end, the last option is other. Now, what does that mean, other? Well, we realize that the Chinese have a hypersonic drone program. The Russians have an operational hypersonic drone program that they're using in the Ukraine. The United States is now reinvigorating and refinancing its hypersonic drone program. But these are all experimental, and the track record of these hypersonic drones is not very good. And you realize that these sightings go back decades decades before anyone even conceived of hypersonic drones. So what are they? So we're left with the last option, and that is other. And other includes, well, maybe a renegade country. Just like if you watch James Bond movies, there's always some smirsh or specter out there that has a secret program with access to advanced technology. Maybe a James Bond type uh, secret organization. And for the first time, the military is not immediately excluding the possibility of there being extraterrestrial. This is new. In other words, one military official was quoted as saying, quote, they are not ours. And if they're not ours, then whose are they? If they're not the Chinese, if they're not the Russians, if they're not us, then what's left? Could it be E.T.? So we're left with the possibility now, and the military is now owning up to this, that they could be extraterrestrial. And this is new. Before, the military would try to debunk these things, saying that maybe they're stealth bombers, uh, maybe they're Chinese or the Russian technology. But the military is now admitting that, yeah, they, they're, they're not ours.